Hey guys, this is Jador. Thank you for tuning in to my first cooking tutorial. Today I will be making a southern fried platter with fried shrimp, oysters, and catfish. So let's get right into it. All right, so our first step is we're going to make an egg wash. So a traditional egg wash is with eggs, milk, salt, and ground pepper. But as you guys will find out, I like to do things a little bit different. So my mission statement with all of my food is to make sure that that flavor is there. And so with my egg wash, that's how I capture my flavor with any of my seafood or my chicken or any type of meat that I usually put in an egg wash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the eggs, the milk of course, and I'm not going to use the salt or the pepper, but the seasonings that I will be using to give my seafood some flavor is that shrimp boil that you just saw, the lemon as an accent to the seasoning that I'm going to use hot sauce because we're gonna do that Louisiana Creole flavor baby and then I'm gonna put some spicy mustard brown mustard you see right here you can use Creole mustard but I didn't have any so that's what I use and then I'm gonna use some good old Creole Tony Sherry seasoning and some Old Bay and then I'm going to use some Mrs. Dash lemon and herb and as well I will put all my ingredients below but um, it's important, let me touch on it, that you put enough milk so your eggs don't scramble. But the egg wash holds the seasoning, the seasoned flour to your fish whenever you fry it. And I did put some parsley in there because I just like to have some type of herb. But you want to whisk that bad boy together. You don't want no egg clumps in there. And so I'm just transferring this into a dish and we'll touch on that later. We're going to go right into washing our catfish first. I've been waiting all my life to say this <laughs> but guys make sure that you subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a couple comments below and just tell me what you think of the video so far make sure that you send this video to your friends and tell them to follow your girl you know I am posting stuff all month long of all of my original recipes so make sure that you push that notification bell so you do not miss any video because I'm coming with the heat all right, so back to the tutorial. Um, as you see right now, I'm just laying my catfish fillets down on some paper towels. And yes, any Auburn fans that are in here, I'm sorry. This is my dad's um, tray right here. He's an Alabama fan. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and pat dry this catfish because you don't want your catfish to be wet because then it's just not going to do well in that egg wash that I showed you earlier and eventually when we dredge it in our batter to fry. So as you see I'm just patting it dry, getting it dry. And while we're talking about quarantine, how are y'all holding up? I at this point, I am ready to move to Mars. Like what is going on? I literally feel like I am living in a movie. Like and I don't know where the movie is going. Do y'all feel that way? Comment below if you feel that way. Like, this feels crazy. So what I'm doing right here, I'm just cutting the fillets in half so we can just have more. I never fry my fillets whole unless I'm doing like a dinner party or if it's for like guests coming over. All right, guys, so I have my catfish cut in halves, and I'm just transferring them to my egg wash. So I'm going to let my catfish, my shrimp, and my oysters sit overnight, but you do not have to have your seafood sit for 24 hours. I just suggest that you do because you don't want to put in all that technique and effort into your egg wash, and then you don't let it work for you. So the reason I put so much into the egg wash because I'm developing that flavor, that seasoning profile that once my seafood is fried that I will be able to capture and taste all of that so that's the purpose of the egg wash but again you do not have to do that you can let your seafood marinate for like 30 minutes to an hour and then go right into cooking but as you saw in that last clip I did the same thing with my oysters I'm gonna go ahead and clean my shrimp this shrimp was already butterflied at the top, so the poop was removed. All I had to do was just deshell it and remove the veins from the bottom. If you guys would like a more in-depth video about cleaning your shrimp, just let me know, comment down below, and I will slow this video down and walk you guys through because I've kind of mastered um, cleaning shrimp in a very, very quick time. 
So this video is running kind of fast. So right now I'm just de-veining my shrimp. You just want to basically stretch out your shrimp, put your um, slicing knife like in the middle, extend it out and remove that vein. Guys, make sure that you are taking this step because nobody wants to be eating the shrimp and eat all that veiny, gritty nastiness. You see all that nastiness on that napkin? Remove that vein, please. So as you see, I'm doing the same thing that I did with my oysters and my catfish. I'm just transferring that shrimp. After I de-shell and de my shrimp, I go ahead and wash my shrimp again and pat it dry before I put it in my egg wash to make sure that you take that step even though I didn't show it in the video. Make sure that you do it. So right here I have some Zatarans fish fry with real lemon seasoning. Make sure that you get the one with the real lemon seasoning. It's the best. I know how to make my own fry mixture. If you guys want that video as well, just comment below and I'll do it for you. So make sure that you are coating those oysters. You want a thick coat on those oysters. So right here, I'm frying my oysters in a shallow saucepan, shallow saucepan, I'm sorry. And sh oysters are just like shrimp. You can cook them very, very fast. I think I cooked these for like two to four minutes once they got really, really crispy and golden. And then I just flipped them for about 30 to 50 seconds. We'll see it in a little bit because you do not want to cook them for long. I like to get like a hard like a hard crust on the top as you see right here and then I don't let them sit in the pan much longer and that just makes sure that they're like tender and juicy. These were so good y'all. You don't even need any like condiments to go with it. Like they were so good and juicy. All right, doing the same thing with my shrimp. Just dredging them through that Zatarain's fish fry with the real lemon seasoning. Keyword on the lemon seasoning. And guys, as you see right here, I have some homemade fries. I have the tutorial for that. So if you want that, comment below and I will upload for you. So shrimp, again, just like the oysters, you don't have to cook them for very long. I think I cooked these for like three to four minutes. And you'll see in a little bit that I pull out a shrimp just to see. You guys like that slow-mo right there? Real slow. Very slow for you. I should probably start doing ASMR. But anyways, um, I'm just checking on the shrimp. It wasn't as golden and crispy as I wanted it. I wanted a little more color. So I'm going to put that thing back in there. And about in another minute, I'll remove my shrimp. Beautiful fried shrimp. Three to four minutes, I promise. Three to four minutes, and you got the perfect shrimp. And by the way, disclaimer, this pot has been in my family. This frying pot has been in my family for like decades, so I'm not getting rid of it. So right here, I'm just dredging my catfish. See that beautiful shrimp and oysters in the back with the homemade sweet potato. Well, not sweet potatoes. <laughs> French fries, I wish I had some sweet potatoes, but the homemade french fries, just glorious. Sunday catfish, shrimp, and oyster fry. So I'm putting the fillets in there one by one. You don't want to crowd the pan too much, so I wouldn't recommend putting no more than four or five catfish fillets at a time. So these are really, you just have to like keep your eye on it. Um, I cook these about six to nine minutes. It really just depends on what type of look you want your fish, but you do not want to cook your catfish no more than nine minutes. All right, guys, this video is almost coming to a closing, but make sure you follow me on Instagram at Jadora's Kitchen, J-A-D-O-R-E-S Kitchen, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So right here, it's almost time for me to remove my fillets. 
beautiful. And as you guys will see, I was struggling trying to get that one fillet out. But I got it out. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you again for tuning into my very first cooking tutorial. Oh, my gosh. I was so nervous about this. But make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Jador's Kitchen. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you, guys. See you until next time.